Last Valentine, the extraordinary new novel of love, hope, and memory. The Last Valentine, the love story America is taking to heart. Welcome back, everyone. It is 6, 11, and 33 degrees here in Salt Lake City. The Last Valentine is a story about a wife who waits five decades for her husband, a World War II pilot, to return. Fifty years later, she receives his Last Valentine. The book was first self-published. Its author, James Michael Pratt, joins us this morning to talk about the importance of this book. And, first of all, why write this book? Where did the storyline come from? Well, it literally came out of the darkness of, of a night as I uh, sat pondering on my hobby, writing hobby. The, the title, The Last Valentine, simply would not go out of my, my head. It's like one of those tunes you hear that won't go away until you get up and sing it or, or get rid of it or turn another tune on. That's how powerful the thought, the words, Last Valentine, were with me. I lay in bed for just a few minutes thinking, I'll remember that in the morning. And then the other thought that came to me was, no, you won't get up and write it. I took a look at my what I want to do in life list, and one of them was to become an author. And I said, well, everything's up. Everything's up, you know, from down here, and uh, I'll write a book. And uh, it's not that simple. It took me a few years, but uh, I think if you put your mind to it, you can do whatever you want. The story was self-published. It's now been picked up by a major publishing company. You're That's going right. on a national tour. That's right. How does this feel? Uh, a little unreal. Uh, very exciting. Let's talk about the plot. Okay. It's, it's about a wife who waits for her husband to return. Obviously, he never does. And she gets a valentine that has been lost in the mail. Well, I don't want to give away the story. <laughs> but uh, a son uh, who uh, writes the story of his mother's love affair with his uh, father that he never knew during World War II uh, recounts to a, a news journalist, a young lady, who, a little bit cynical, uh, doesn't believe that true love can be found in this world. She begins to read his story, and it takes you back in time to Los Angeles U uh, Union train station on Valentine's Day, 1944, uh, the wedding anniversary of Caroline and Lieutenant Neil Thomas. He promises that he'll come back, walk right down that ramp, and be with her once again by their next anniversary, Valentine's Day, 45. She keeps her promise, and every Valentine's Day for 50 years waits for him to walk down the ramp until the return of the last Valentine that's found in a miraculous way in the battlefields of the Philippines. And um, it comes to a, a resolution and a heartwarming conclusion that I think uh, the readers will find magical. And it's out just in time for Valentine's Day again. The author is James Michael Pratt. It's called The Last Valentine. Thanks for sharing this book My simple with us. motto as a writer is to lift, build, and inspire. You're, you're a real tradition, traditionalist, aren't you? Thank you. Um, I, I might have been born in the wrong time slot, but in, in any case, I was born of wonderful parents who inspired this story, their own 50-year love affair. And the final words I heard from my father, who had not spoken in a week and a half, as he woke from the brink of death, turned to me and said, I love you. And that was the most sacred I love you I've ever heard. And that really sparked in me the last Valentine. Uh, this is brilliant because there's still a lot of people around can remember that era. Well, that, that particular generation uh, is one that uh, comes from a romantic time in my mind, a, a time of golden age of movies, a time that was far more innocent with regards to love, a time where standards and values were very important and there was a line that Hollywood drew. And uh, so I portray it as a movie. But when she gets in the story, she finds something that touches a chord, and as it does, a love, the purity of love touches a chord in us all. My novel is clean, it's uplifting, it's all about the heart of love, the center of love. Out of battle and out of crisis and out of adversity, uh, much like the, the thorns on the stem of the rose draw attention, we always are drawn attention to the, the petals, but what about the thorns? Is it worth risking the beauty of the rose? and to be pricked by the thorns. And I think those are the lessons that Caroline and Neil need to discover, and that I hope uh, are passed along to the readers in a way that might change their lives forever.